Right, right. Now, that's just what I was about to get into, man. That's a classic, classic, classic album. Um, man, how did you even connect with Black Star? And, and what was that experience like? Because were y'all in the studio with him? Did y'all get to record with him? So how that came about was, again, through the Lyricist Lounge, you know, um, we, we performed Mere Words and Q-Tip took a liking to us. Uh, there was a, a artist with him around at the time by the name of Consequence. Consequence dug the performance. Was like, yo, I want them dudes on my album. So Tip, at the time, approached us. We exchanged numbers. We had meetings with him. He told him he was putting together a, a new crew of, of artists. Uh, it was called the Uma Family. The Uma Family consists of Punching Words, a female by the name of Jane Doe, um, Slum Village. And Tribe Called Quest and Consequence. That was supposed to be in the Uma family. All right. So out of that is how we wound up meeting a guy by the name of Most Deaf, because Most Deaf and Q Tip at the time were working together. Right. So he met us, brought, tried to bring Kwali into the fold. Tip was a little reluctant at the time because he had so much going on around him that um most and quality most and uh quality started doing the black star they started recording the project so most was like yo we need to get these dudes on on, on a record you know what i mean i think this is gonna be something big tip is putting together you know this this uma family thing so y'all be dope to get punching words on there quality was already familiar with us from being in the lyricist lounge so one day they's like yo just come to the studio we was doing something called the fortify live remix fortify live was a song off of Quali's one of his records. It was like a piano track, a classic joint. So we rhymed over that and we did the the song. Um, maybe like a month later, High Tech remixed it. And he was like, yo, I just put a brand new beat under it. Y'all check it out. Let me know what you think, which wound up becoming Twice in a Lifetime. So that's how that song came about. It was through the connection of the tribe and just all of us kind of being in the same circle at that moment. Wow, like I was saying earlier, that's a, that's such a classic album. I mean, people still waiting on the next Black Star album. So, I mean, y- y'all gonna be on that next one or? Uh, well, the album's out. They have a new album out right now called Fear Time. It's uh, it's a, it's been put out through their company uh, at at Luminary. So they're partners in this uh, streaming service co- company called Luminary, where they do the podcast with Dave Chappelle. So uh, the album is out right now. I'm not on it. They went a different direction with this one. And it's a really dope album, all produced by Mad Lib. So I tell everybody to go to Luminary. You know what I mean? You can, down, you can download it onto your phone, the app, and you can just listen to the album there. Yeah, it's really dope. Wow, that's what's up. I didn't know they had another one. Now, I had seen recently that they was on Drink Champs. But I, like I said, I'm in the motherland, so I didn't even get a chance to watch it. But I'm going to definitely check out that episode and that album.